today, folks. Just stretching. Because we're, we're going to be talking about plant health and nutrients. talking about chlorosis and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button and don't forget to check out my Instagram page or Gerard's Horticulture Culture and leave me a like let me see what you got in your plant channel I love to see what everybody has in the Instagram community along with the YouTube community everybody's great the plant community is great so what I would just want to talk to you about because what I'm ex experiencing and Primarily with my coffee plant. Yes, my coffee plant. This plant is going to give me some coffee in the near future. I'm hearing it's, uh, it'll produce its first coffee berry after four years. Now, I got this from a grocery store. I see them a lot nowadays. I haven't seen a bigger one, but I said I was going to get it. But I said, let me just hold off because I already have one. I don't want to be greedy, maybe somebody else wants to pick it up, so I just kept on with this one. So, the only issues I'm having with this coffee plant is I'm noticing, um, I'm seeing some possible chlorosis, meaning I can see the veins in the leaves and they're not a solid color. And uh, mostly with the top growth, and I'm also getting some browning and some uh, burning on the lower group. I have to admit I have had it in my window where I get southeast sun for about six to eight hours and I noticed that the leaves were burning. I had it in its pot that it was original to since I bought it so I repotted it, gave it the happy frog and a mix of pro mix soil but I, then I noticed that the leaves were still browning so what I did was I went back to a couple channels where they talked about chlorosis meaning you could see the veins in the leaves a couple symptoms of that could be deficiency of iron and or there's too much acidity in the soil. Now I know that the Happy Frog and the Pro Mix that I usually pot most of my plants up with, they uh, have a neutral pH. So I figured maybe I've been moving the plant around and or holding back on the water. Now it's the growing season. This plant absorbs a lot of water. A lot of people water it weekly. I've been off that schedule. I've probably been saying it droop a little bit more than usual and what I'm seeing is the top growth is growing pretty healthy but the lower leaves most of the lower leaves are browning and crisping and I think every plant collector if you have a plant you should know about signs and things to look for for specific plants now chlorosis once again means it's a deficiency of iron and the plants not able to utilize the iron in the soil readily so you'll see some yellowing of the leaves and some pronounced veining of the leaves the one thing about what I just said earlier is when I repotted it I, I did one thing also I gave it a uh, I took it outside and that was one mistake I may have done the humidity levels it's even though it's hot outside the humidity levels are probably at 50 percent i keep my home at 60 percent but i just wanted to see what i would be dealing with if i take them outside and put it in the north facing side of my my house um so i basically did an experiment so now i brought it back inside i'm fertilizing with the npk the nitrogen phosphorus and potassium but i'm also going to add in a little magnesium and I'm also going to try to get some chelated iron to to amend in the soil. So if you do see vanning of the leaves or if your leaves start to turn yellow, check your soil pH and also basically 
if you see the bottom leaves start to brown up and curl up and the top leaves are looking okay but they're still not growing as well as they should meaning is that the plant is basically trying to take the nutrients that it needs from the lower leaves and bring it up to the top uh, iron is one of those movable nutrients that the plant can try to take from the lower leaves and bring it to the top growth just to adapt to the soil so that's a little bit about chlorosis everybody thanks for watching don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and keep growing